What's up, YouTube friends and family, fellow rebels? I'm here with one of my first tutorials, and I am so happy to bring this to you guys. So here we're going to be doing a blowout taper, taper on the sides, taper on the back. I didn't get a before shot, but hey, for the first video, I will show and prove with more content and more videos later. But yeah, we're going to start off here using our wall magic clips, and we are using the number three guard. So pretty much what you're going to do is knock down all the hair to the desired length this being a number three and then from there we'll start the taper so I'm gonna fast forward this a little bit while I knock down the hair and I am going against the grain so when I am going against the grain I try to go pretty much every way that I can to make sure that I do get all the hair knocked down and here I'm going everywhere from the sides to the top to the back. And usually I use my Andis Masters, but for this haircut, I am using the wall guard system. And this is a, a cordless magic clip. It just has the translucent uh, cover on it. Still guys, still here trying to knock down a little bit more of the hair. His hair was hard to lay down, so as you can see, I'm cutting and brushing, cut, brush, or comb, whatever you're using. So as you cut, brush down to try to lay that hair down as much as possible. Alright guys, now we're going to start off the back taper, and with the back taper, what I'm using is my wall cordless detailers, and I'm setting in my bald line. I'm setting it in a little bit half way because I want the taper to be not too high but also not too low so that way it looks good on my client and the shape of his head so a mid taper in the backwoods looks kind of the best for him then after you set the ball line you're gonna come behind it using your shavers I'm using my Philip Norelco and the shavers are just to get everything down to the skin all right, now we're going to start off making our first guy line and we're using our magic clips with the lever all the way open and we're going to set in this guy line about a half an inch. Usually I use like one of my fingernails in order to like, you know, measure out. Well, really I use it by eye, but for beginners or whatever, you can use a fingernail or anything like that. Or you can make the guidelines whatever size you want, but I usually make them about a half an inch. So, yeah. Setting in the first guideline and try to set it in as even as possible. Now I'm coming in with my one guard, my one eighth guard, and that's completely open. I'm going to flick out about another half an inch. I'm not really digging in too much because I don't want to set in too much of a hard guideline for myself to take out later. So I'm using the corners and also flicking out and that's the one guard open. So therefore it makes it a one and a half and I'm just setting in my second guideline and I'm not making it too harsh of a guideline. So that way I could come behind with the two and the one and a half and that would be easier for me to blend that line out. So remember guys, flick, flick, and flick, especially on this line. Don't set in that guideline too hard and make it harder for yourself. And then you'll end up pushing up that taper or fade if you set in those guidelines a little too hard. So this guideline, flick. Next, I'm going to use my two guard and that is all the way closed. I'm flicking pretty much right above where the one guard open left off. And this is pretty much to just lighten up that spot. It's really not going to take out that line because you're going to have to come behind it with a one and a half guard in order to really blend that line out. But use the two guard in order to make it easier for yourself to blend that line out. And then after you lighten that up a little bit, just open the lever a little and blend into the top. Because remember, you use a three on top. So as you can see, I just opened it there and that's to blend in a little bit from the two that I just used 
right at the line and that's the blend where the three is on top and here I'm flicking also trying not to let like a harsh guy line in you know just flick 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 and don't make too many guidelines for yourself and make it harder for yourself to take them out so especially in these positions just try to flick now we're going to take out those guidelines i'm coming back in with my no guard and taking off that line that i first set in with the no guard open this is a no guard all the way closed and i'm flicking the line right at the bottom and i'm going to flick it until that line starts to just Ugh, excuse me there got a little tongue tied starts to disappear a little bit and once you start seeing that line disappear you're gonna open the clipper halfway as you see I just did right there open the clipper a little bit and just start going up a little bit more until you start seeing everything pretty much disappearing and blending in then you're gonna open it and go right to the line right where you had it and that line will pretty much disappear. You gotta work it, use your corners as much as possible and flick until everything is blended out. Then after this, we're gonna come behind it with our one and a half guard, our 116 guard. This is the wall color system. So I'm coming in with the half guard all the way closed and I'm flicking out that line between the half guard open and the number one usually i use a number one close in order to lighten it up but for some reason i didn't i skipped that step i've been doing it for so long that i don't know i can just do it like this so yeah come in all the way closed then you're gonna go halfway and then all the way open until you start seeing that line disappear and always remember flick 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 use your corners as much as possible try not to dig in too much and set too much of another guideline for yourself so that way you don't have to bring the taper up or the fade depending on what you are blending so right here I believe I'm halfway and I'm going up a little bit I'm only flicking I'm really not using the whole blade I'm using the corners of the blade and I'm flicking and I'm just opening and playing with the lever as needed in the certain areas to blend this line out now we're gonna come in with our 1.5 guard the wall white point uh, the wall 1.5 guard and it is all the way closed and as you can see I'll be playing with the lever a little bit opening it halfway opening it all the way and that's blending in from the one guard all the way open to the two guard close and that's your wall one and a half guard right there is closed and then I open it a little bit as needed and I'm flicking and flicking until that line starts to blend out all the way Sometimes this guard on certain types of hair is not going to take this line out all the way. So you have to come behind it with the one guard open. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to come behind it with the one guard all the way open. And I'm only using my corners here to take out some of the little dark spots that the one and a half guard all the way closed didn't take out. And I'm not using the whole blade at all because that was set in another guideline and it will mess up your taper or fade depending on what you're doing. So make sure in this part, if you do have a little dark spots left, that you use just the corners with the one guard all the way open. Now I'm coming in with the three guard and this is just to cut down some of the hairs that might have got left behind and as you can see I'm combing as I'm cutting and I'm training this hair to lay down I'm training it to lay down because sometimes hair does like to fight now we're gonna do the sides we're gonna follow the same steps I used the little thing on this ear as like a guideline for myself that way I can make the other side equal and consistent to the other side so just set in your ball line and follow the same steps as we did on the back taper now we're coming in with our Phillips Norelco shaver and balding out to the skin 
Now I'm coming in with the no guard all the way open and I'm setting in my first guideline. And now we're going to set in our second guideline and that's the number one all the way open or the 1.5. And from there we're going to flick, flick and really try not to set yourself a hard guideline like you did in the back especially on the side because you have less space to work with so any mistake will just make you bring this taper up more and more and more and you'll end up ruining it so make sure to use your corners and flick as much as possible and set your second guideline in we're pretty much going to follow the same steps that we did for the back taper Now I'm coming in with my two guard all the way closed and this is to lighten up that spot above the one guard open. I do use the two closed, maybe sometimes the one guard halfway or all the way open behind the ear to lighten it up. And then I'll open the two guard that way to blend into the three on top. And remember in here you're just gonna flick and make sure to comb and lay that hair down because that hair will fight with you so now I'm all the way open and I'm just flicking and blending into that three now we're gonna blend out our guidelines I'm coming in with the no guard all the way closed and I'm flicking out that bottom line then I'm gonna come in halfway flick up right up under the line and then I'm gonna open it and just blend out that bottom line that was set in with the no guard. Once that line is blended out, then you're gonna go ahead and grab your number one again. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, we're not grabbing the number one. We're grabbing the half guard. The half guard and we are all the way closed and now we're just gonna flick out that bottom line. Flick out that bottom line. Remember, don't use the whole blade. Even though it does look like I'm using the whole blade, I'm really not. I'm using the corners of my blade. Once you flick out that bottom line, you're gonna open your lever halfway and keep blending up and keep blending that line until that line is all the way gone. You can open and close your lever as needed. Certain spots are harder to blend out so you might have to close and open and halfway whatever you need put your lever to that position now we're coming in with our white one and a half guard and we're flicking right above the guideline that we set in with the one guard all the way open and remember use your corners like I'm using right there use your corners Open the lever as needed, open halfway closed, depending on the position in the taper that you're in. Now I'm coming in with the one guard all the way open, and I'm just doing a little bit of detail work to take out some of the dark spots that the 1.5 guard wouldn't take out. And I can't say this enough. Flick, 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 and use your corners. Don't set yourself another guideline. I'm telling you, when you do it, you're going to realize and remember, wow, Yanni was right about that. Now I'm coming back in with the three all the way closed and I'm combing it down that way so I can get this hair to lay down and get any hair that was left over. Especially with certain kinds of hair, you do have to go over it a couple times in order to be able to cut it all the way even so that's why I keep going over it with the three guard and keep combing it and combing it in order to try to get this hair to lay down because he did have longer curly hair before he cut his hair low and his hair had to be trained to lay down because it did not want to lay down at all so that's why I comb it a lot and I'm trying to pretty much train it to lay down Alright guys, next is the other side. Remember, follow that line with that piece of the ear, then come behind it with the shavers, ball down to the skin. Always clean your clippers. Alright, now you're going to set in your first guideline. 
and right now I'm just going to let you guys pretty much follow along I chime in as needed now that's the one guard it's all the way open setting in the second guideline same as we did in the back taper and the other side taper you just follow the same steps no guard open one guard open two guard closed flicking out then the two guard open to blend into the three and remember this number two isn't going to take it out it's just going to soften it what's going to take that out sometimes this 1.5 guard will take it out depending on the hair sometimes it won't if it doesn't then that's when you know you have to come behind with the one guard all the way open like I'm doing right now and just flick remember flick 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 don't set that guideline and I'm telling you you're gonna regret it then after that that's pretty much blend it out right here I'm just doing a little bit of detail work I'm using the half guard I'm playing with the lever and I'm just taking out some of those dark spots that I do see Use the mirror too as well. The mirror never lies. It'll show you the dark spots. Once you see the dark spots in the mirror, or sometimes look away. When you look away, it, it, it resets your eyes because you can get fade blind. Well, mainly on a taper, you really don't go fade blind too much. But when you're doing a fade, you will. So just look away and it'll help if you start seeing too many dark spots and things like that reset your eyes and then come back work on something else and then come back right here i'm just doing detail work with the one guard open i'll close it i'll open it as needed to take out any little dark spots that i see now i'm coming with the two guard open and what i'm doing here is just blending from the three as you can see i'm taking out some of the hair behind the ear and that's just to lay it down and set myself up for the shape up. Once again, the three guard close and that's combing to lay this hair down, train it to lay down and knock down any pieces of hair that are left over. All right, guys, now we're prepping in order to set ourselves up for a lineup. This taper blowout's already pretty much done. Here I'm coming in with hairspray this is dove hairspray and i'm spraying it in all the spots where i am going to do a lineup and this is just setting myself up for the hair to lay down and also setting myself up for the best shape up possible that for my client now i'm coming in usually i start in the front hairline especially when i'm do trying to do a video so you guys can learn but for some reason i started in the back line right here and then I'm end up just moving back to the front hairline. As you can see here, <laughs> I'm back trying to shape up the front. And since I am recording with my GoPro on my chest, um, every time I lean over to shape them up, you the angles aren't really there. But it's all trial and error. So with my next videos and the more content that I drop the better and better my angles will be the better and better everything will get but for a first time tutorial I think this came out pretty good now we're gonna go in on the vertical bars comb away or brush away from where the hair is laying that way if he does brush wet his hair or move or anything the lineup stays in place so as you can see I always brush away from the vertical bar in order to make that line more crispy and stay in place whether the hair does move or anything like that now i'm gonna set myself up to do the c cup i usually start on the side i curve it a little bit and then once i get about halfway i come from the bottom and then i just meet that that corner that i made just turn your clipper use the corners and you'll see everything coming in together for you it might take you some time to get good with the c cups but with time you'll get better now i'm 
gonna go do the back since I hit it with the hairspray. It's nice and laid down, nice in place. Try to keep it as natural as possible. And when you're gonna, when you get behind the ear, when you get behind the ear, you're gonna use the corner. As you see right there, I'm using the corner. I really don't use the whole blade. So just use the corner, whether you use the left or right side, or you come from the temple area or the back of the neck. It doesn't matter which side you like to use, but just make sure you use the corners and curve that. Try to keep it as natural as possible and don't give your client a white wall. Oh God, boy do I hate white walls. But hey, some people have white walls naturally, but luckily for here, my client doesn't. Now we're gonna go to the other side. That's the side that I actually started with at first. Sorry about that guys. And I'm just gonna finish off here. Now I'm coming in, like I said, on the other side, use your corners, whichever side you like to come from, the temple or the back. And right there, I'm coming off the temple. Right there, I'm coming off the back. Comb, comb, comb and cut. Cause every time you comb, you see more hair. So always comb and cut, comb and cut, comb and cut until all that hair is gone. That way, if his hair gets wet or he moves or anything like that, the lineup can last. Make that thing sharp. And as you can see, that lineup is bringing this hair life back. He is back in the game already. All right, now I'm coming back on this vertical bar. Remember what I told you guys? Comb away from the vertical bars. That way, any hair that his access hair gets cut and if his hair moves and he brushes in any direction the lineup will last them here I do use kind of the whole blade but I I don't make it straight like the blade I just use half the blade and then half the blade all right, now as you see there, I used the comb from one side of the C cup to the other side. I got that from Get Beamed. Shout out to Get Beamed on YouTube. One of my favorite barbers to follow. He gave me that little trick, and that gives me even C cups every single time. They are always even because of that comb technique. All right, right here, we're going to blend out the beard, and we're going to use the same steps that we used on the back and side tapers. So you're going to come in with... No guard all the way open, then the no guard closed. Now I'm using the one guard all the way open. I use it right there with the grain and against the grain because he does want to keep some of the length on his beard. And then in order to blend that out, you're of course going to come in with your half guard all the way closed, halfway, then all the way until that beard is blended in and blends into that taper. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. No guard, one guard, half guard. Play with the lever as needed until everything is blended out. And you can see, every time I lean over, especially with using the GoPro, I lost a couple of the shots, but trial and error, like I said, guys, and we're gonna get there and have better shots. Half guard, flicking it out, now it's all blended in here I'm picking out his beard he didn't want anything cut off the beard he wanted to keep the length because he did get it shaped up last time so here I'm just gonna pick it out just in case so he can see the length and now I'm gonna shape up the back of the beard you do the same thing as the vertical bars you comb or brush outwards that way any hair that does move that way it won't mess up the lineup so always brush away from the lineup that you're doing. That way it sets yourself up to have a crispy line and that way the line will last. And I'm also, as you can see, I'm lining it up with the back line. It's even with the back line. So if you see how the back line is straight, then that beard line should kind of make like a, like a horseshoe around the ear. Now we're gonna do his mustache. I'm coming in with the one guard all the way closed. And the hair on the side that connects to the mustache, I open the lever. That way it blends in from the beard to the mustache being closed. Here I'm using Toon 45 Shave Gel. Shout out to Chris Basio setting myself up to use the razor blade. And it helps that blade glide. Oh my god, it has a good scent to it. 
it's got like a nice minty like like fresh feel the, all my clients love it they're like yo can you use that shave gel they love it so shout out to chris bazio definitely one of my role models in this uh haircut and especially in youtube shout out to him shout out to tune 45 shout out to get beam 360 jeezy all these guys that motivated me to become a better barber and also to do this youtube thing so yeah if you want any Toon 45 products, go to Toon45.com and you can get this shave gel there, about $10. That blade work. Doing the same thing as the other side, applying Toon 45 shave gel and coming behind it with the razor. Making that thing crispy. Look how crispy that thing is looking. Oh, oh God, he is back in the game. And my client's birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday to you, Miguel. Thank you for letting me shoot this video. See the angles, man, the angles. But hey, trial and error. They'll get better as I go. They will get better as I go. Using that razor in the back. Use the razor in anywhere that you did a lineup. Use that razor. Look at that razor work. Ooh, wee. The front lineup. That, that razor work just brings everything together, boy, I'm telling you. Now I'm going to shape up the mustache. I start at the bottom, and then I use, do the top of the mustache. You kind of want it like medium, not too thin, like Puerto Rican style, and also not going into the nose. And once again, I'm bending over, and you can't see that part, but hey, trial and error, trial and error. Right here, I'm just doing detail work. I come behind with the razor. I grab the shape up clippers, I just, any imperfections and details that you need to do, this is when you do them towards the end of the cut and make sure that thing is nice and crispy. Right here I have no guard all the way closed and what I'm doing is getting a lot of the prickly hairs or straggly hairs that are left over and I'm just freestyling and gliding that blade over top of the head so that way there is no hairs left over on top and i'm telling you the clients appreciate that and there you go that thing is clean hit them with a little bit of alcohol oh boy that stings so good a little bit of powder clean them up and there you go guys he is back in the game ready to celebrate his birthday with a fresh cut look at that taper that thing is back on point shout out to you miguel there it is guys there it is my boy is back. Look at that back taper. Chris B. That's what I'm talking about. Hit like on the video. Subscribe. Hit that bell. The notification bell. Comment. Show your boy some love. It's your boy Rebel Bevel. Yanni, holla at me. That's the cut. Stay blessed, y'all.